In this video, we will build a simple H5P video interactivity. In a future video, we will build on the information shared here and build something even more comprehensive. So please make sure that you are subscribed with a notification so that you don't miss out. If there's anything about H5P that you need to know, please leave a comment below. Why are video tutorials effective teaching aids? Video tutorials offer several unique benefits, making them a powerful tool for educators. Multi-sensory engagement. Videos appeal to both visual and auditory learners, increasing comprehension and retention of complex concepts like leadership styles. Demonstration of concepts. They allow learners to see real-world examples, role-play scenarios, or animated explanations that reinforce abstract theories. Self-paced learning. Learners can pause, rewind, and rewatch content, making it ideal for those who need extra time to grasp challenging topics. Global access to expertise. YouTube videos offer access to subject matter experts worldwide, helping educators supplement their teaching with curated, high-quality resources. In the resources, I leave a description of some fair use considerations for you to look at. Interactivity through tools like H5P. Adding questions and prompts transforms passive viewing into an active learning exercise, fostering deeper understanding and application. When should educators use video tutorials? Video tutorials are particularly effective in the following scenarios. Introducing new topics. Use videos to set the stage and pr provide context before diving deeper into the subject. Demonstrating processes. For step-by-step -step instructions, visual walkthroughs are more effective than text explanations. Building soft skills. Topics like leadership styles, communication, or conflict resolution benefit from videos that show real-world applications. Supplementing text-based content. Videos can break up text-heavy material, keeping learners engaged. Encouraging reflection. Videos with reflective prompts help learners connect the main content with their own experiences. So, to summarize, watching a video passively isn't enough to ensure comprehension and application. By enhancing the video with H5P's interactivity, we can check knowledge, encourage reflection, and foster application. Using H5P interactive video to teach leadership styles. YouTube is a treasure trove of expertly crafted videos on all topics, offering rich content for training emerging leaders. Understanding one's leadership style and knowing which styles suit different situations is critical for success in leadership roles. Special thanks to Hannah Louise for her excellent video on leadership styles, used here as an example to demonstrate H5P interactivity features. Please visit her channel and support her work by subscribing. Steps to implement an H5P interactive video. 1. Prepare the video content. Extract the transcript from the YouTube video, if you are working with a YouTube video, to get ChatGPT to help you with the interactions. To get hold of the transcript, look for the video description below the video. You may have to click the More link. Go to the bottom of the description. There will be a Show Transcript button. Click on it. The text contained in the transcript is now available in a window to the right of the video. Select all of the text, including the timestamps. So make sure the timestamps show. Prompt ChatGPT to create content-related interactions, including multiple choice, drag the words and fill in the blanks questions. Be sure to ask for timestamps for where these interactions should appear. If working with your own video, use your own accompanying text to prompt ChatGPT with. 2. Set up the H5P interactive video. Launch the H5P editor and select the interactive video option. At its barest minimum, an interactive video requires a title and a video. You can either upload a private video or add the YouTube URL. I like to keep all behavioral settings 
and text overrides at their default values. We will adjust some of these in the future video. 3. Add interactions. Go to the timestamps suggested by ChatGPT for your interactions and insert the interaction of your choice by clicking here. Take a moment to explore what is available. For this project, we will insert a multiple choice question. The purpose of the question is to get the learner to think about leadership styles before the video even gets to, to the contents. Insert all the interactions generated by ChatGPT in step one. For example, the multiple choice, the drag, the words, and the other interactions. Place them at the timestamps where they are required. In this case, it makes sense for the video to stop altogether. That is, the question will not display whilst the video is still playing. So set pause video selection on. The question will display and the video will pause. Set these times to be the same. Try and get the pause time in between sentences so that when the video starts again, it proceeds with the next sentence and a smooth flow of words is experienced by the user. Displaying interactions as posters instead of buttons aligns with the signaling principle from the science of instruction as it makes key information immediately visible, reducing cognitive load and directing learners' attention to critical content without additional clicks. Ensure a mix of recall, application and reflection questions to address different learning objectives. Your skills as a teacher will guide you in what to ask. 4. Refine and customize. Ensure the interactions appear at precise moments in the video for maximum relevance. You can edit an interactivity by clicking on it in the edit environment and selecting this edit button. You can resize by dragging these resize handles. Remember to click done from time to time to get H5P to save your changes. If you are editing in an LMS, click save and display to make sure your LMS also remembers your changes. Enter a submit page at the end of the video interactivity. This is the most important part of the project because its contents will be shared with the LMS so the teacher and learner are informed of the learner's progress or achievements when watching the video. Give names that make sense. When the learner gets to the submit button, he or she will want to know what aspects of the learning material was mastered and what was not mastered. Nonsensical questions like question one or question two, or even worse, untitled question, will not add much value. In a future project, we will adjust adaptivity settings under SEEK2 so learners are directed appropriately based on their answers. Conclusion So there you have it. An interactive video curated from YouTube with interactions suggested by ChatGPT. When used correctly, H5P interactive videos align well with the science of instruction in several ways. The multimedia principle Combining visuals, the video, with text-based interactions enhances learning by engaging multiple cognitive channels. Segmenting principle, breaking the video into manageable sections with embedded questions helps learners process information more effectively. Contiguity principle, placing interactions at key moments in the video ensures that learners connect explanations directly with the content they are watching. The feedback principle, Providing immediate feedback on responses help correct misconceptions and reinforce understanding. Personalization principle. The narrator using easy to understand language and the sketched graphic animations contribute to making the content memorable. Learner control principle. Allowing learners to pause, rewind and engage with the interaction give them control over their learning experiences, making it more adaptable to their needs. By leveraging these principles, H5P interactive videos turn passive video consumption into an active learning experience, fostering deeper engagement and better retention. In the next project, we'll dive deeper into designing multiple choice questions with effective feedback, a critical skill for any educator. Stay tuned.